De Goinkens. This is in reference to the 8th chapter geometry given on page number 115 of your math side book. The objective of this topic is to make you learn the basic concepts of geometry. Geometry is derived from an ancient Greek word geo, which means earth, and metron, which means measurement. That is, geometry means measuring earth. It's a branch of mathematics that deals with points, lines, and shapes. What are points? A point is a dot made by a tip of a sharp pencil. It is denoted by capital letters such as P, R, Q. So we can say that P, Q and R represent different points. Geometry also deals with lines. A line is a collection of points. It's a straight path which can be extended indefinitely or endlessly in both the directions. It is shown by two arrow heads in opposite direction. These arrow heads represent that they can be extended. It does not have fixed length and has no end points because it can be extended indefinitely. It is denoted by AB with the symbol of line on the top or we can say BA with the symbol of line on the top. Since it does not have any fixed length, it can never be measured. Infinite number of points lie on the line because line is a collection of points. Sometimes it's denoted by the capital letters of the English alphabet such as A, B. There are three types of lines. Horizontal line, vertical lines and slanting or oblique lines. Horizontal lines are the lines that are drawn horizontally or we can say from side to side, left side to right side or right side to left side. Vertical lines are the lines that are drawn vertically that is up and down. Oblique or slanting lines are the lines that are drawn in the slanting position such as GH is a slanting line and EF is also a slanting line. Geometry also deals with the shapes. By joining three or more lines, we can form different shapes such as square, rectangle, triangle, circle. Other shapes are diamond, hexagon, pentagon, etc. Square. A square has four sides and four vertices. Sides are the lines and the point where two lines meet are called as vertex. Or And so we can say that a square has four vertices and four sides. All the four sides of a square are equal in size. The second shape is rectangle shape. It also has four sides and four vertices as square. But in rectangle, the opposite sides are equal. That is, AD will be equal to BC. And we can say DC will be equal to AB. That is, opposite sides of rectangle are equal. Triangle. A triangle has three sides and three vertices. That means it has three sides and the point where the two lines meet are called as vertex. So it has three vertices. A circle has no side or no vertex. It has a center in the middle. It is made with the help of the curved lines. So this was the basic introduction to geometry. Thank you.